to line and color our drawing in Illustrator, I think it's important that we have a drawing first. So to begin with, let's start with something. I'm gonna draw a heart because hearts are magical and full of love. I'm gonna add some fish scales because fish are high in some sort of omega-3 something. I don't know, I'm not very good at this. Then I'm gonna add some lines. Let's just feel it out, feel where it goes. Add some more lines, add some whoop-de-whoops. That's actually the artistic name of them, whoop-de-whoops. Then we'll add in some circles, have another line. And then we'll have a girl's best friend, a line of diamonds. These are looking like good diamonds. Another line. I'm really all about these lines. Let's make this one look like a rope. I can't even, I can't even understand the level of symbolism in this. Oh, and if you're ever gonna draw a heart, you gotta have X's and O's. Otherwise, you're just not doing your job. You know what, let's make some more lines. When in doubt, just make lines. Or fish scales. Okay, let's do some more fish scales. Yeah. Here we go. And never mind, they could be dragon scales. Let's call them dragon scales. All right, cool. Now that we've got our drawing, let's put it into Illustrator. I have the world's worst phone. It's some sort of Windows phone, and I don't have a scanner, but I took a picture of with my phone and just imported it into Illustrator. So the picture is on one layer that I locked. It's on the blue layer. And now I'm using the pen tool on the second layer to create the outlines. And this video is actually not sped up. I'm just super fast with the pen tool. Yeah, <laughs> that was a lie. Okay, there's a lot of thought about how to get good with the pen tool. I think one of the best ways is to draw something on paper that you think is pretty complicated and has a lot of lines, especially curvy lines. And then to take those drawings into Illustrator and try to outline them with the pen tool. That's one of the best ways to get good at it. So the idea here is to just outline all the lines. It's pretty simple, straightforward. This will help you understand a lot of the techniques that you can use with the pen tool. Outline the X's. I think the X's stand for kisses and the O's stand for hugs. That's a lot of love right there. That is a lot of affection. I'm gonna cry, okay. Nice. Now I just got a little bit more to do. Gonna fill in the dragon scales. Now this takes quite a while. It's quite a job, a task, a chore to do pen drawings with the pen. But I think, I think it's worth it in the end because you really get kind of an organic look that you wouldn't have had if you just used the pen tool from the beginning without creating a drawing. So these, this might actually be a rope, but, 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 it could be Z's, the letter Z that just right next to each other. So I'm gonna keep thinking about that. Okay, now once you've got the outlines done, remove the picture and then create a new layer. No, never mind. Don't create a new layer. You can press Shift W to get the line width tool in Illustrator. And with the line width tool, what you can do is click and drag lines to make them wider or skinnier. You can make parts of the line wider and other parts of the line skinnier. So I'm going to go through the whole drawing and just kind of very organically make some of the lines thicker and some of them thinner to make it look more like it was drawn with a marker as opposed to just a digital program that makes all of the lines the same. I think by doing this it really gives it that organic non-professional feel. There's a certain look that's extremely professional but looks hand-drawn and that's kind of what what I think you want to go for when you, well, depends what style you're going for, but that's what I was going for. Okay, and then to color it, the best thing to do is to make a third layer and put that beneath the line layer so that all the objects you make 
will fill in the spaces of the lines, but go under the lines. So as you can see, I'm filling in all the spaces. Then I jumped ahead. I've colored in almost the entire heart now, but I'm just gonna do these last four spaces to show you how it works. So that part takes quite a while. Essentially, you're outlining all of your pen lines twice. You're doing it once with the pen tool to create the same lines in Illustrator, and then again to create the coloring. So now that I've got specific shapes for all of the areas I wanna color, I have an idea to make the bottom of the heart be kind of blue and the top of the heart be orangish red. So I'm just going through and creating kind of a color palette that I can use for the top of the heart here. And from here on out, I just go kind of, kind of randomly in colors whatever I think looks good, but not worrying too much if it looks perfect. Because I think, I think when it's organic, even with the colors, you don't have to worry that much. Just make it fun, make it playful, make it, make it something that looks like you just drew it and colored it in your, in your sketchbook one day. So here I am just selecting all the dragon scales and filling them in with random colors. I tried not to have too many colors be next to each other in the scales so that no two scales would be touching each other and have the same color. It probably happened, but I tried to avoid it as much as possible. So then I did this similar thing on the lower blue section here. Just just get, get a bunch of colors and, and fill in. And I tried to make it, I tried to find a bit more brighter colors, things that were more contrasting. So at this point it was really just having fun with it. What colors do I want to put in here? What do I think will look good? Selecting these. And I, I think it, it's turning out pretty darn awesome, if I may say so myself. And I think the juxtaposition of the colors is really cool. It's almost like... If you look at the whoopty whoops on the heart, it looks like tents to me. It looks like a uh, like a circus kind of. It just everything is playful about it. Everything screams playfulness, and and I like that. So then you might want to group the uh, the colors layer and the pen layer together. And I'm gonna write the heart is a magical place. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See ya. Bye.